Very good morning. When officers arrived here at the Pelosi home exactly a week ago today, they initially didn't have any idea exactly what was going on. They knew they had a high priority call on their hand. What was unclear, what was happening inside the property just behind me. This morning, Paul Pelosi is home, back at the house that became a crime scene a week ago today. NBC News learning new details about the moments police arrived. Sources familiar with what unfolded in the Pelosi residence now revealing when officers responded to the high priority call, they were seemingly unaware they'd been called to the home of the Speaker of the House. After a knock and announce, the front door was opened by Mr. Pelosi. The 82 year old did not not immediately declare an emergency or try to leave his home, but instead began walking several feet back into the foyer toward the assailant and away from police. For days now, it has almost seemed like the tale of two storms framed by crippling snow on one side and destructive tornadoes on the other. We're covering it all starting in Minnesota tonight with Miguel Almaguer. Well, Lester, good evening. The city of Duluth is used to big snowstorms, but this one was just historic. They got about 30 inches of snow. It's deep in several areas. And cars like this one, this is what neighborhoods all across this region look like. I want to show you video from outside of this state in the Dakotas in Wyoming. They had an awful time, blizzard-like conditions, whiteout conditions, wind speeds at over 40 miles an hour. The interstates were just a mess. There were rollout, rollovers and Wipe out. There were several serious injuries, and we also know about 145,000 people are without power across this region. This major storm is still on the move tonight. It is headed east. It's going to bring with it up to 16 inches of fresh snow in upstate New York, Lester. So while the storm here has moved on, it's certainly not over. Lester. It's unclear if the 82-year-old was already injured or what his mental state was, say sources. According to court documents, when the officer asked what was going on, defendant smiled and said everything's good. But instantaneously, a struggle ensued as police clearly saw David DePap strike Paul Pelosi in the head with a hammer. After tackling the suspect, officers rushed to Mr. Pelosi, who was lying in a pool of blood. What we do know is he brutally attacked Mr. Pelosi and attempted to kill him. After spending several days in the ICU, Pelosi, who is recovering from a fractured skull and serious injuries to his arm and hand, is now home where Capitol Police remain on alert. Investigators have previously said Pelosi did not know DePap when the 42-year-old broke into his home. Why Pelosi didn't try to flee or tell responding officers he was in distress is unclear. Yo, yeah, well, here in Duluth, they're expecting about 20 inches of snow um, as of a few hours ago. In about 35 hours, they're expecting that, you know, perhaps another eight inches on top of that. So we're talking nearly 30 inches of snow when this storm is all said and done. Fortunately, we've had a break in the snow. We don't expect much more. But the concern now shifts to the roadways. You can see all these cars behind me buried in snow. That's what people are coming out to. That's made the roadways a mess up and down uh, this region and also other parts of the Midwest. There have been spin outs and rollovers. There's concern there could be fatalities out on the roadway because conditions are just so slick and so dangerous out there. So the concern here now shifting to the cleanup and the aftermath of this storm, the roadways and digging out, that's going to take days. This storm is still on the move. So the punch, not quite over yet, Kate. Fear takes over. Fear freezes people. This morning, the 82-year-old lucky to be alive after an intruder nearly killed him in his own home. Law enforcement, tell, law enforcement officials tell us the bottom line here is this was a terrifying situation. We still don't know exactly what unfolded between Mr. Pelosi and the suspect for the 30 minutes they were alone inside that house before police arrived. Officials who were investigating this matter would not go into further details about these new details. Craig, back to you. Yeah, one thing's for sure, though. He is lucky to be alive. Miguel Amelgar for us. Miguel, thank you.